Today, let's look at some different inequality which involve x to the power y and y to the power of x. So the question is that x, y be positive real numbers. We ask proof that x to the power y plus y to the power of x is more than 1. I have made a video yesterday um, in proving this inequality. It contains a major mistake in the proving. And I would like to thank Madam Tika and Riyad Susi to point out the mistake. I'll put the mistake that I made yesterday at the end of this video to make a review again. Okay, so let's back to the question. Obviously, if any of x and y is greater than or equals to 1, then one of these will be equals to 1 and the other one will be positive. So overall will be greater than 1. Which means that this inequality is true if any of the x or y is greater than or equals to 1. So we may just need to restrict ourselves into considering the case x and y are in between 0 and 1. And before that, we need to use this inequality that's called Bernoulli inequality. x to the power y is less than y, x minus 1 plus 1, if x is more than 1 and y is in between 0 and 1. And I'm going to show this inequality now. I'll draw out y equals to ax, where a is greater than 1, and this will be the graph. And I know that when x equals to 0, y equals to 1. When x equals to 1, y will equal to a. And if b is in between 0 and 1, then y will be equal to a to the power of b. Note that this graph is concave upwards. so. The segment joining these two points will be always above the curve. So it means that the gradient for this segment, which is in black color, will be greater than the gradient of the segment in the red color. So call M1 and M2 as their gradient respectively. And we know that uh, M1 will be greater than M2. This particular point is 1a. This point is b, a to the power b. And this point is 0, 1. So the gradient is defined by y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So m1 will be a minus 1 over 1. So a minus 1 over 1. And m2 will be a to the power b minus 1 over b a to the power b minus 1 over b. Since b is positive, we can multiply both sides with b, and after that, plus 1. So it will be b a minus 1 plus 1 greater than a to the power b. So with this, we just prove that if a is greater than 1, or x greater than 1, b or y is in between 0 and 1, then a to the power b will be less than b a minus 1 plus 1. And this is the part of the Bernoulli inequality. And we are going to use this for this question. So I'm going to erase this to get some space. Since we only consider x, y to be in between 0 and 1, we will let uh, x to be 1 over 1 plus u where u is positive and y equals 1 over 1 plus v and v is positive. x to the power y will be equals to now note that in this case we need x to be um, more than 1 but the x here is less than 1 so I will use it as 1 over 1 plus u to the power of y. Okay, so this is the so-called new x here. This is greater than 1. 
and y is in between 0 and 1. The denominator itself will fulfill this inequality. So the overall will be greater than 1 over y is still y. x is equal to 1 plus u minus 1 plus 1. And this is equal to 1 over yu plus 1. But what is y? y equals 1 over 1 plus v. 1 over 1 plus v times u plus 1. And after we combine it, this will be equal to 1 plus u plus v and 1 plus v. In this case, x to power y is greater than this term. And using the similar argument, we can easily get that y to the power x will be greater than, we interchange the u and v. So this is 1 plus u over 1 plus v plus u. And therefore, x to the power y plus y to the power x is greater than, we sum up these two terms, uh, they have the same denominator. And for this, it is 1 plus u plus v. And we'll have extra 1. And this is equals to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus u plus v. And since uv are positive, this is greater than 1. The equality never holds because uh, u, is always po u and v are always positive. But we can always get this term to be very close to 1 by considering x very close to 1, negative, and y is very close to 0, positive. And in this case, we we'll see that x to the power y it is very close to 1, and y to the power x is very close to 0. And in that case, we say that this one is the best lower bound that we can have. If you're interested to know what are the mistakes that I made yesterday, you can continue to watch until the end of this video. Otherwise, this is the end of the lesson. I'll see you again. Bye-bye. So we know that m1 will be greater than m2.